California State Assembly was forced to adjourn after dozens of pro-Palestinian demonstrators interrupted the first day of legislative session. Demonstrators calling for a ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war. ABC 10's Luke Clary has the details. Their message from the gallery, loud and clear. Pro-Palestinian demonstrators. You are out of order. Forced the California State Assembly to adjourn on the first day of this legislative session. You are being disruptive. With calls for a ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war. And it was absolutely beautiful. One of the most beautiful actions I've been blessed to be a part of. Benya Koetz among the hundreds of people organized by Jewish Voice for Peace, if not now, and other groups taking over the Capitol balcony and historic rotunda. Is that tactic something that you think can be effective? Well, I think that the tactic is a result of just so much silence for the past few months. You, you Omar al Tamimi with the Council of American Islamic, Islamic Relations says it's part of a series of protest actions we've seen from coast to coast. Demonstrators blocking the Brooklyn Bridge and JFK Airport in New York, the San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge, and in November, shutting down the Democratic Convention in Sacramento. Of course, it draws attention to the cause, but I wonder whether it's necessarily positive attention, if that causes any concern. I, I don't think so. And the reason I say that is when people have been unheard for so long or have been unrepresented for so long, things like this are what move the conversation in the direction it needs to move in. Could stopping society in its tracks actually be counterproductive? Well, you remember the famous photos from the civil rights movement. You know, Martin Luther King and his movement, like taking over bridges and taking over the National Mall. Assembly Speaker Robert Rivas disagreed, saying the only impact from today's protest is, quote, the legislature was prevented from doing the people's work. But the demonstrators achieved their goal of shutting down the session and capturing all the attention that came with it. That was our Luke Clary reporting. Capitol Security says there were no arrests made in connection with today's protest. The California State Legislative Session resumes tomorrow.